So welcome back to another video guys and it's the last ride on the Harley Davidson Fat Boy tonight. So we're going to take this bike out and uh, tell you what it's all about, what I like and what I dislike about it. So uh, yeah, stick around, stay tuned. We'll be right back. Okay, so the Harley Davidson Fat Boy. So thanks again to Harley Davidson UK for uh, the loan of this bike for the last week. It's been an eye opener for sure, and it's been the first Harley that I've ridden ever in my life. And I wanted to try a different cruiser than uh, another one that I've tried on the channel recently. So let's uh, let's hear about the good points and the bad points. So the good points is that it's really, really comfortable. The position of the legs, the seat, the bars, everything is really super comfy. The uh, throttle position and the uh, operation is really smooth. The engine has bags and bags of torque in every gear that you could ever want. And I actually think that the black and the chrome is really lovely, especially from a certain angle. And I'll show you a picture of that angle, which I think is the best on this bike and it looks uh, it looks the part i've been looking at this bike all week in the garage i've come to uh, quite like it to be honest would i have one would i have one in the stable uh probably not and there's a few reasons for that so uh, let's get into the uh, the bad points about this bike and things that i'm not quite keen on the first one is the uh, handling now obviously it's a cruiser it's got a big 160 tire on the front and a 240 on the rear and just because of that 160 and the 240 and those huge lumps of cast aluminium wheels the lean angle is 25 degrees either side before you start scraping so when you tip it into a corner just initially just there you get a bit of pushback so if you're entering a corner too fast it's a bit of a beast to get around the corner so that's the uh, the main negative i have with it um, other things on the bike just like then I was curious if that car was going to pull out and uh, grab a handful of brakes and that's the uh, the other problem the brakes now we've got a four pot caliper on a single sided disc and the uh, the brakes are not good enough so uh, Harley you need to put another disc on and another four pot caliper on this bike and that goes for front and rear really the rear rear brakes are not much use anyway but fronts and what you rely on and it needs better brakes to stop this bike which is over 300 kilos in weight and uh, that's the other thing the uh, the bike is a real hefty beast while it's got the engine to push it along it just hasn't got the braking capacity okay the other niggle is the mirrors now while they uh, they look really nice they are totally useless can hardly see anything out of them with them being oblong and also at speed they distort a little bit and I can't see anything when I'm up at highway speeds doing about 60 miles per hour there's some vibrations through the mirror and I get a distortion all the time so uh, when you think of these bikes on the uh, the big straight roads in the US then basically you need better mirrors something that doesn't vibrate as much so the other thing uh, the engine while it's got bags of torque I'm not keen on the sound through the exhaust now I know Euro 5 might have something to play in that uh, it's all right when you get it wound up, but anything uh, low down speeds, the sound's not there for a Harley. And also the gearbox is uh, really clunky, really agricultural. So yeah, I'm not too keen on uh, on that either. Now, does that uh, stop me having one in the garage? Would I have one given all the money in the world? Probably, yeah, just for the looks, really, and the way this bike feels. You certainly... Uh, get a good feeling like any premium bike when you ride it so we're just gonna carry on after I'm just gonna grab a couple of pictures just now for you I'll show you these Okay, so there's a couple of other things that I don't like about the bike, and that is the indicators. Having a left indicator on the left handlebar and a right indicator on the right. Now what I do like is that the self-cancelling, which more bikes should have. Instruments, very plain, very simple, no rider aids, you've no traction control. 
which is a good thing on bikes they tend to be too complicated sometimes some bikes need them like the scrambler that we've just ridden for off-road and things but this bike definitely not okay what else i like the led headlight at the front the way it's surrounded by chrome yeah the other niggle i had was the fuel cap you have to literally push it and twist it now if you've got greasy fingers you can't actually get the fuel cap off very easily so that's another niggle it could have just been a, a solid screw down cap that was on the top i think one of the other things that would bother me just the uh, the air filter down on the side here you know, when it rains you have to put this cover over it to stop the water getting into the air cleaner so that's uh, maybe something that they should have uh, hidden away the air cleaner i know it's for looks and things but yeah it would bother me so what's my first real impression of a Harley? It's been really an eye-opener for me um, to, uh, to test this, and thanks again for Harley for lending it me. It's not my type of bike, as cruisers aren't, but I've really enjoyed the experience, and I think that's what it's all about with these bikes. Sometimes it's not about getting from A to B quick or in uh, super comfort. It's all about the bike that you would take down to the cafe, you know, just sit and admire. And that was the same when I had the Triumph uh, Thruxton RS. That was a, a bike you could just sit at and look at all day. It was a beauty just to look at it. And now while Harleys are mainly admired in the US, although I have some US friends that don't like them, and uh, many that do, uh, it just uh, depends on your taste and what you, uh, what you would like. I think most people go through changes. A lot of us went through sport bikes and then from sport bikes on to naked or adventure bikes. So yeah, it might appeal to you at some point in your life, but for me, uh, not just yet. Now, as I mentioned in the other video, I have asked for the live wire if I can borrow that. Now, it's just one that MCN's electric bike of the year. And while I'm not an electric bike lover, people rave about it and say how good it is. I'm not sure if it's something to do with Ewan and Charlie's expedition but it's one that you can get a lot of miles on so I'm interested in testing that coming up uh, if you've got any comments on electric bikes what are your thoughts then uh, drop them in the comments section below or any bikes that you'd like me to test next um, I have access to quite a few different varieties so if there's something you would like to see on the channel then uh, definitely give me a shout but yeah uh, it's been an interesting uh, time with this bike sadly it's been a bit cloudy and overcast and rainy which is the norm i'm afraid in england at this time of the year so if any of my uh, subscribers from the us or warmer climates are watching this is it wrap up warm so yeah the sunlight's going now guys so we're gonna cut the video there but i hope you like the intro to the the fat boy on the channel and also to any other harleys that come on the channel in the future like i say it's been an interesting one if you're not subscribed to the channel then uh, hit that subscribe button click that bell for future videos coming up we've got a lot more coming up on the channel in the weeks to come as we head into winter thanks again and uh, have a good week whatever you're doing we'll catch you soon cheers guys